So at uh, 225 this morning, we got a call of flames and smoke coming from a second floor unit here, 9100 block of 45th Avenue Southwest. And when we arrived, um, there was smoke and, and, and a little bit of flames coming from that second floor unit at the back of this courtyard apartment building. Once we made entry, we knocked down the flames pretty quickly, um, but we found inside uh, an elderly female. She was on the floor in the living room of, this, of her apartment and she was deceased. Uh, we've uh, begun our fire investigation here on the scene. According to the neighbors, um, they woke up to the sound of crackling flames and next door neighbor pounded on the door and no response from the female resident inside and then they evacuated out. Um, at one point we evacuated all 19 units of this complex. Uh, we have since allowed everyone back in our investigation continues into what caused this fire. We don't know at this point. Much, much damage outside of the unit where the fire actually is? No, I mean, the, we contained the fire pretty much to the unit where this occurred. Um, there's a little bit of smoke that was in the unit next door, but for the most part, all the fire damage is contained to that one unit. There's still electricity to the, all the apartments other than the one unit that was damaged. Okay, just to clarify now, the deceased person was in the unit that was the subject of the fire. Yeah, the deceased person, the unit where the fire occurred, that is where we found the deceased woman. Um, she was on the floor about 12 feet from the front of the door in the living room. And we believe, at least preliminarily, that that's where the fire occurred. At least that's where the most extensive damage was in the living room of the house, of the apartment. So not the kitchen, not the bedroom. Uh, at least preliminarily, that's where it looks like the most extensive damage was in that living room. Of course, our fire investigator is going to do a very thorough investigation, go through the whole apartment, try to locate what the cause of this fire is. So no police involvement, medical examiner will be here sooner or later? Yeah, the medical examiner will be here. Um, we will certainly contact the uh, Seattle Police Department, whether they'll get involved or not. That will really be up to the fire investigator. At this point, not considered a suspicious fire? Until... Nope. I mean, right now, we, we, don't, we don't know what we have here, and until we determine cause, uh, we're not going to make a, a speculation of what, what caused it at all. But, uh, it looks like it was limited to that one unit. Uh, it was a long-time resident that she lived there, and uh, she had a lot of combustibles, a lot of materials piled up in that apartment. So it's going to take a little while to get through all that and get to the determination of what exactly caused this fire. Uh, it, it's hard for us at this point. Uh, we've talked to different residents of the building who have indicated that, but really hard from the, the damage to the unit to make that quick determination whether any of that was going on inside the unit. Any uh, like smoke damage to adjacent units, anything like smoke There was a little bit of smoke uh, damage to the unit next door, but we were able to clear it out and those people were able to go back in and, and get back into their apartment. You mentioned she was elderly. Uh, any evidence of medical oxygen or anything like that that might have had to her in the uh, Some neighbors... Uh, we found some oxygen tanks inside the unit, and neighbors say that she did use oxygen. You know, and that's just going by what the neighbors had indicated to us. I don't know what type of medical condition she may have had. Um, yeah, again. You mentioned combustibles. Are you talking about the oxygen tanks when you mentioned that? No, when I say combustibles, and, and we run into this from time to time, there was a lot of uh, just things piled up inside the apartment. And when you have a lot of items piled up inside the apartment, that's just more fuel for the flames. This is a hoarder? Or? I, you know, I, there's such extensive fire damage. You really, basically, there's, you see a lot of combustible material piled up that's burned. Uh, I, at this point, I don't know what that combustible material was, but it was material piled up um, inside the living room. Smoke detectors, sprinklers? I talked to the building's owner and they said that all the buildings have smoke detectors. Uh, the resident next door who called 911 and who pounded on the door to try to get the woman out said he did not hear a smoke detector going off inside. Mm. No sprinklers as far as you know. I don't believe the building has sprinklers. So, you know there's smoke detectors inside but it's not clear it's not allowed. Yeah, I, we don't know, other than the only indication we have is from the next door neighbor who said he did not hear a smoke detector going off, but the building's owner said that all the units do have smoke detectors. Now, whether it was a working smoke detector, whether the battery was in there, whether it was the battery was up to date, that's something that our fire investigator will look into. Anything we have? 
we talk about the no, I mean, I think in this case, the neighbor did the right thing, calling 911 right away and trying to get their neighbor out. Um, they did everything possible to try to rescue their neighbor. Unfortunately, um, this person did not make it. And at this point, we don't know why that person didn't respond to the pounds on the door or if uh, maybe they were unable to respond to those pounds on the door. But, you know, as, as I always indicate, the quicker you call 911, the quicker we can get to a scene, the quicker we can knock down the fire. The fact that we got here as quick as we did, we were able to contain it to just one unit. You know, these types of fires can spread pretty quickly, and you know, every minute a fire doubles in size, so we were able to contain it to one unit. It's, 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 it's a good save.